it's time to let go of the pain and all attachment to the pain. and let it go you are so much more than a vessel for pain and heartbreak and despair you gotta let it go Honor and embrace what you feel. But don't let it take control over you. Honoring and embracing what you feel is a very powerful thing. But it also gives you space to own what you feel. And when you own what you feel, you now have a choice of what you want to do with that feeling, you know? You can change that feeling. You can turn that feeling into something else. But you gotta let go of the attachment to the feeling. And I know it's hard. I know it hurts. I know it even feels so fucking lonely at times. It's so beautiful to have the ability to determine how you want to feel, you know, because sometimes it feels like we don't have a choice and that we're a victim of our feelings. But when you own how you feel, when you own your energy, you now get to transmute it into something else. Facing our wounds, our childhood wounds, even our those recent wounds, it doesn't matter. We still have a choice of how we want to transmute that energy. I recently faced some deep, deep, deep childhood wounds. And I made a choice. I chose to transmute my pain into my power, my prosperity, my purpose. And you can do the same thing. You can even transmute your pain into love unconditional (laughs) self-love. And don't do it for anyone. Don't even do it for me. Do it for you. When you're ready. But I got you, okay? Okay.